On the digital SAT, when we are asked about systems of equations, we are very, very rarely going to solve these in the same way that you would in school. I don't know if you've done this in school yet. It's, it's kind of a more advanced idea with algebra, but solving systems of equations often involves substituting one equation in for another, or using a process called elimination. You kind of line them up, stack up all the variables, and then eliminate things. Neither of those is really as useful on the current SAT because we have the calculator, or we have a situation like this where one of the equations is barely an equation at all. In fact, this question is much more about plug points into equations than it is about doing any sort of algebra. So remember, that's our main math strategy. If we have an equation, our big goal should be, can we get a number in for one of these variables? Sometimes we have to make up the number, but in this case, it's given to us. Right, so one of these equations isn't really an equation, it's just telling us the value of y. So if y is 19, we can substitute that in for the y in the other equation, and suddenly we don't really have a system of equations anymore, we just have one simple algebra equation that we can solve. Now before we do that, I will say two other things. We can also use the answer choices to great advantage here. First, when they tell us y is 19, we know instantly that c and d are wrong. Because what they've done here is they've confused the X and Y coordinates. So notice, like, that's something that the SAT is testing. And if you frequently mess up X and Y and which one comes first and which one comes second, that's a problem. That's going to cost you. That is as fundamental as knowing that the number two comes after the number one, right? You have to know how to count. You have to know how to read a graph and how to get coordinates off the graph. X and Y are an important part of this. So we've got our... Uh, this is be this is be flipping it. Y would be first, and that would be no good. So that's bad. So that gives us two answer choices. And and yes, if you want to, you can do some algebra here. You can just take your uh, nine, and we're gonna cancel it out, right? We want to get that x alone. So we'd have to add nine to both sides. When we do that on the right, negative nine plus nine is zero. So that's why we did it. We got rid of that. But now we moved it over to the left side, and so nineteen plus nine is twenty-eight, and that is equal to four x. And now we do division because we. We want to get the 4 off of the x, so we have 4 times x to get rid of multiplication, we do division. Notice that whenever we do algebra, there's a lot of opposites going on, right? What gets rid of uh, the subtraction? We did addition to get rid of subtraction. What gets rid of multiplication? We do division, opposites. So that gets us an x alone, but when we divide 28 by 4, we get uh, 7. And so now x is 7, that only works with choice B. So that's the answer. Uh, if algebra is still new to you and you feel uncomfortable doing it or you're not quite sure of the steps, remember, we can take advantage of the fact that this is a multiple choice question and use those multiple choices as a way to guess and check with what we've got. So we can, you know, still, we would need to know the 19 is limiting us to A and B, right? That, that's important. We need to be able to recognize X and Y. But then if you want to and you're like, oh, okay, let me just try choice A, we could take A and we could plug X is 4 into the equation and see what happens. 4 times 4 minus 9. Well, 4 times 4 is 16. 16 minus 9 is uh, 7. Yep. So basically, that's no good because we were told that Y is 19. So if we substitute that in as well, we can say, okay, well, 19 and 7 are different numbers. So choice A doesn't work because the point doesn't fit onto that uh, equation. It gives us a, a nonsensical result. 19 and 7 are different numbers. We would want something like 7 equals 7, which is what happens when we plug in choice B, right? So uh, 4 times 7 minus 9. 4 times 7 is 28. Minus 9 is uh, 19. And so look, there we go. 19 is equal to 19. That's exactly what we wanted. That's exactly how we know that choice B is correct. Now, in some systems of equations, when we get to have uh, basically much more complicated equations for both, uh, we would then go into Desmos. So I'll show you that in future videos. But a lot of times when it's this simple and one of the equations is just telling us a point, just plug that point in. It's basically an algebra question disguised as something harder. So just plug the point in, get a number in there, and once we have just one variable in an equation, it's basic algebra that we can solve. Anything more complicated, we can go to Desmos and let the calculator solve it for us, but I don't think it's worth our time to meticulously enter these equations into Desmos here. I think it just adds confusion and the potential for a mistake if we misenter something. So look out for that. This is not really an equation. It's just a point. Plug it in.